is good, everybody, my Paper Moon fam. It's your boy, Paper Sin. Bah. Or AKA the Hokage of the village. Hidden in that loud. And we are back with another reaction video. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Some things have progressed since the last time we checked in on Oprah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, apparently she responded to the Maui, Maui residents exposing her land grabbing schemes. You know what I'm saying? And this is by the YouTube channel This Happened. So we're going to check this out, see what she has to say. What do you think? What do you go ahead? Go ahead. Leave, leave a guess in the comment in the comment section below. Let me let me see what you let me see what your guesses are, huh? All right, let's go. Or maybe like actually guess, as in you haven't seen whatever this is this clip is from. But you know, saying actually guess. <laughs> All of the online, uh, you know, being mm, slander and slam attacks, being, attacks, lies, conspiracy theories. We were so concerned about what was happening. So she's calling them lies and conspiracy theories right off the bat. Okay, cool. In Maui. We're so concerned about what's happening in Maui that you somehow managed to hire a private firefighting team to protect your land before the fires started. Not Oprah playing the victim card again. Oprah Winfrey finally responded to the backlash over her response to the Maui wildfire. And yes, she made things even worse for herself because she dismissed legitimate criticism coming from Maui locals as a conspiracy theory and complained that people online are terrorizing her. I want to give you the opportunity to um, kind of give your thoughts on that. Well, this is a really great point about being happier in the midst of an onslaught of being terrorized. After she was called out for buying native land on Maui and then exposed for hiring her own firefighters to protect her properties, Oprah also drew backlash for asking her followers to donate money to Maui. If you send a donation, just click now. Did I just witness what I think I witnessed? He did. Please don't tell me I just saw a billionaire standing next to a multi-millionaire begging the average everyday citizen for donations that can barely get by. While Oprah and The Rock said they'd give $10 million of their own money to Maui, those who paid attention to their carefully worded video pointed out that Oprah actually said they pledged to donate. So after weeks of getting... Uh, isn't that... Okay. ...dragged on social media. Oprah from what I know about pledging donations, it's like you, it's not like a real donation or it's like the mist in the midst of being a donation. Like you, the, the, the people may never get the money when they actually need it type of thing. Um, hmm. Let me actually look that up right quick, quick. You feel me? Let's see the important difference. Let's see, basically a pledge is a promise to pay later while a donation is an immediate payment. So they promise to pay later, then they can always break that promise, I'm guessing. If a supporter promised to pay $10, million, $10 a month. Oh, $10 million. Anyway, yeah. So it's a promise to pay, but not a definite, def definitive payment, it seems. Uh, let's see, issue a pledge. Let's see, a pledge is a promise to pay later. Uh, donations. So if you, a supporter, promise to pay ten ten dollars a month every month for a total of a total of one hundred twenty dollars after twelve months, this is a pledge. If the supporter made a one-time gift, okay, that's a donation. Of course, there's also a lot of overlap between the two. That's why we often see terms pledge and donation used interchangeably, interchangeably. Even though the key difference, is, okay, but I'm not really about to go through all this. Checking follow up. The organization will have to repeatedly follow up with the donator to collect pledges. They'll also need to send more donation receipts and acknowledge letters, acknowledgement letters. Managing multiple repeated pledges can be oh, that's annoying. The pledge campaign is one that let's see. Can people? Most importantly, pledges can be broken. Okay, yeah, there. That's that's. That's what we're looking for. Pledges can be broken. So even if they pledge to donate 10 million, they're not actually donating 10 million. They can just cancel it. They can just, you know, break the pledge after the video, after, you know, the issue is solved or after they're out of the limelight or whatever. That's messed up, yo. So that's that. 
Oprah decided to address the backlash during a recent appearance on her BFF Gail King's morning show. And based on her response, she's either so out of touch that she's convinced she's doing something good, or she knows that people have seen through her scheme, but she's so arrogant that she simply doesn't care. What if I didn't really know who I am? What if I didn't have the assurance of Invictus? Now, to give you some context first, a Bitch, what? What if I didn't know who I am? What? Did she say, what if I don't know who I am? Okay. A string of wildfires broke out in Hawaii last month, with the western coast of Maui suffering the most severe impact. According to the latest reports, the official death toll stands at 115 people, while 66 more are missing. Thousands of others have lost their homes, their beloved animals, and all their possessions, and the Maui fire now ranks among the top 10 deadliest U.S. wildfires on record. And as if these poor people haven't suffered enough, they're now getting calls from investors who are trying to exploit them and buy their land for yeah, pennies we on heard the about dollar. That. Homeowners have been reached out by investors and realtors offering to buy their land. And this is disgusting, disgusting. And we just want to make sure that people around the world understand our situation and know that Lahaina is not for sale. So in the midst of all this destruction, mm. Oprah had a brilliant idea and decided to bring her camera crew and record the survivors in one of the emergency centers. According to the Daily Mail, on August 13th, Oprah was denied access to an emergency shelter after she tried to bring a CBS camera crew inside <laughs> the facility. However, there's another factor contributing to the skepticism of local residents. Yeah, you see her? Got her arm inside the facility. However, the Got her arm around the local res a local and just walk in towards the camera like, yeah, yeah, we're talking. You know, There's the, another look, factor. Look at her face. Look at her face. She's like, what the, the fuck is going on? of local residents like, oh, regarding Oprah's presence in Maui. You see, Oprah is a part-time Maui resident, and as recently as March, she acquired 870 acres of land on the island for $6.6 .6 million. The Architectural Digest also reported that towards the close of last year, Oprah acquired two more parcels of land on Maui, each spanning 10 acres for $100,000 apiece. So in addition to the extensive land Oprah already possessed on the island, she has now accumulated hundreds more acres. And according to one report, her total land ownership in Maui is estimated to be around 2,000 acres. When news what? first broke that Oprah had acquired the additional 870 acres in March, she faced significant criticism from locals, who argued that her purchase of Maui land was contributing to the displacement of indigenous residents. Many fans also questioned the necessity of such a large land holding on Maui, leading to various speculations about the purposes of Oprah's properties. As reported by Newsweek, Oprah's residence on Maui is located in the southwestern part of the island, just an hour's drive from the area that was completely devastated by the wildfires. But despite the extensive fires that swept through this region, all of Oprah's properties and land remained untouched by the massive blaze. But this wasn't just a coincidence, because <laughs> according to viral reports circulating on social media, Oprah hired private firefighters Fire, yeah. to protect her land from the flames. And what's even more suspicious is that she allegedly hired the firefighters before the fires started. After Oprah and The Rock. Wait, so is that them like soaking the. Now, this has to be. At, uh, this can't be before. This has to be like after the fire or whatever. But would, would they soak the ground like this before to prevent a fire around in the area? Hmm. Obviously, this isn't that footage, I'm guessing, but you know. She allegedly hired the firefighters before the fires started. After Oprah and The Rock recently launched their People's Fund of Maui, asking fans to donate, one TikTok user went viral, claiming that Oprah hired private firefighters before the fires broke out, and she also hired extra security to keep the survivors away from her land. We were so concerned about what was happening in Maui. We're so concerned about what's happening in Maui that you somehow managed to hire a private firefighting team to protect your land before the fire started. How though? You're so concerned about what's happening in Maui that instead of taking some of that land and housing even a small portion of those displaced people, you've hired a private security team to keep them off your land. But that's not all. It's also very telling that Oprah said nothing about the investors who have been calling Maui residents and pressuring them to sell their land. And no, this isn't a conspiracy theory, because numerous survivors have come forward with the details of the shameful offers they received from investors and real estate developers. But as this TikTok user pointed out, the reason Oprah won't say anything about these shady investors is because those are the same people who helped her acquire her massive swaths of native land on Maui Damn. for much less than it was worth. 
They're so concerned about Maui that you simply haven't had time to denounce any of the shady real estate deals which are robbing people of everything they have. You know, like the ones you were involved in that helped you acquire that land for pennies on the dollar of what it was actually worth. Another good point that this TikTok user made is that... Oh okay, but where's... Uh, I hear them out, but this it's just points that... They're, that it's just... I want to see how she did it. I want to see, like, like the... I don't think they showed like physical, like physical proof or something. Like, let me see that shit. Like, I, I, I don't doubt that she would do some shit like that. But let me see. Like, let me see. Let me see. Oprah could have easily reached into her own pocket and told her billionaire friends to do the same if she was really did I miss in helping like, the people of Maui. You're so concerned about Maui that instead of taking what would amount to a year's salary for you and four or five of your billionaire friends, which could be used to rebuild the entire place in a matter of months, you're jumping on social media and asking the American public, most of whom can't afford to pay their rent right now, to do it for you. It's safe to say that this woman said what most people were thinking when they first saw the video of Oprah and The Rock begging for donations. However, despite the popular consensus about Oprah's motives, Oprah is refusing to acknowledge people's concerns, and she just went on live TV to play the victim and accuse her critics of being conspiracy theorists. While promoting the new book she co-authored, which is ironically titled Build the Life You Want, The Art and Science of Getting Happier, Oprah was strategically asked to address the backlash over her Maui donation plan, okay. and she completely dismissed the question, saying that the backlash made her think of how she can keep her happiness while being terrorized. The people's fault. That was what she, that was, that was the answer to that question that we heard in the beginning? That was what she was answering? of Maui yeah. was created by you and Dwayne The Rock Johnson, um, in, in which you both poured time, effort, and millions to kick it off yourselves, um, yet and still, it faced online criticism. I want to give you the opportunity to um, kind of give your thoughts on that. Well, this he's helping her, he's helping her, he's prepping her to be viewed as the victim, because he's like, you do this, this, and this, and yet, and yet, still, you get blamed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he prepped her to... That's why, this, that's why they said strategically, he prepped her to be viewed as the victim before he even finished asking, or while he was asking the question. This is a really great point about... Did you hear it? Deal. It an effort by you and Dwayne The Rock. ...while being terrorized. The People's Fund of Maui yeah. was created by you and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Um, in, in which you both poured time, effort, and millions to kick it off yourselves, um, yet and still, it faced online criticism. I want to give you the opportunity to um, kind of give your thoughts on that. Well, this is a really great point about being happier in the midst of an onslaught of being terrorized and vilified online. And then Oprah also had... Well, at least it seemed to me like he prepped her to, to already see him as the, uh, be seen as a victim. And then she just went with it. Was, uh, was that a rehearsed answer or a rehearsed question and answer? Or was it on the spot? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Had the nerve to say that people who are criticizing her are taking focus away from the people of Maui. All of the online, uh, you know, being... Slander and... Slam. Attacks. Ooh, attacks lies, conspiracy theories, really hmm. took the focus off of what was the most important thing, and that was the people of Maui. But isn't it Deflection. convenient that Oprah failed to acknowledge that the people of Maui are the ones who are the most vocal in criticizing her? And this is because they know firsthand what she's done to their native land. Oprah could come in. Who is she? Who is she? We couldn't even have our pastor come in and ask us if we need prayer in the very beginning, but Oprah could come in. Anyways, you can probably already oh imagine God. what fans are now saying about Oprah's response to the backlash. One fan commented, extremely narcissistic, poor Oprah, terrorized, really? No mention of those who lost all and how they might be feeling. Whatever problems she feels she's going through are insignificant. So glad Gail took the time out to mention her blue outfit. There is a total disconnect. Or is there? And another fan added. So one second, huh? I'm still, I'm still tripping about how they can't get like their pastor or whatever. So the place had to, be, had, had to have been on lockdown in the area. Um, so they, they can't even get their pastor and stuff to come in. Oh, but Oprah can just like waltz right in like, la, 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 la. I'm Oprah. It's not like she came there to say, 
you're all getting free houses and you are getting a free house and you are getting a free house and you are getting a free house nah nah she just came to take pictures and give pep talk i guess she feels she's going through are insignificant. So glad Gail took the time out to mention her blue outfit. There is even more after this damage control manipulation interview. But let's hear your thoughts on Oprah's response. Do you think she doesn't understand why people are calling her out? Or is it that she simply doesn't care? Comment down below and don't miss out on this next video. I think she doesn't care. Like she's been in, she's been in this, this game long enough to, her, to where she knows that the best thing for her to do is is probably to just like lay low or something, just ignore it. I'm guessing because that's what she looks like she's doing. But yeah, <sighs> bro. I, 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 uh, anyways, as always, anyways, this is this was by uh, the YouTube channel. This happened, and wow, that 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 just happened. So that that happened. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um. Bro, I can't believe it. It's like the audacity of some celebrities. You feel me? But anyway, uh, don't forget to visit This Happened. Link will be in the description below, so be sure to check them out. And while you're there, don't forget to do those three things I like to ask you to do. And like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos. Yeah. And you know what it is after that. In case I don't see you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Peace. And much love to all.